Asalaamu Alaikum and welcome to another episode of Bedtime Stories with Amuras. How are you guys doing? You guys well? Can you believe it? We are in the last few days, the last few nights of Ramadan. Wow, it just flew by. I hope you guys prayed uh, and, and, and made the most of the odd nights, particularly the 27th night, which was last night or two nights ago by the time you listen to this. Um, but remember, Ramadan is still not over yet, and you can you can make the most of it. So keep going, and remember Amuraz in your du'as. Remember uh, all of UK and all of the Ummah in your du'as, and make the most of it. Because we don't know if you get to see next Ramadan, and inshallah we will, inshallah we will. But today's story is a very important one, and it's about how we can be better people, okay? And it's called The Tale of the Two Rabbits, okay? The Tale of the Two Rabbits. So what happens? Well, there were two rabbits. Both of them were jumping along in the forest. You know, it was a beautiful sunny day and it was uh, right in the middle of summer. It was lovely. And the rabbit felt like they wanted to just frolic and enjoy the wonderful weather. And they were, they were skipping along. They were jumping and they were hopping. And then all of a sudden, they didn't even see it. Boom, they fell into a hole. They fell into a deep hole right there in the middle of the ground. They didn't even see it. And they fell in. And both of them, they were looking at each other. They're like, what are we going to do? And so they started to jump. They were jumping and hopping and hopping, but they just could not reach the top of the hole. They were stuck. They were stuck in that hole forever. And they were worried because what if a fox comes? What if uh, some sort of predator comes and they're, they're stuck now? They've fallen into a trap and they are going to die. They knew it, that this is it. We we are stuck here. And then what happened? All the other rabbits, all their friends came. And they were there and they were shouting. Don't do it. You don't stop jumping, stop jumping. You, you, you're not going to be able to make it. And you know, the rabbits, they kept trying. They kept jumping because they had to make it. They had to jump because if they didn't jump, they would not survive. And like I said, some fox or some, some fox or... Some wolf or something would come along and eat them. And they kept trying. They jumping with all their might. Eventually, one of the rabbits he started getting tired. And even the rabbits at the top, they were like, don't stop jumping. Stop exhausting yourself. You cannot do it. You cannot make it. Just save your energy and just, just, just stay there. And I'm sorry, but we can't help you anymore. Because, you know, a rabbit, the rabbits can't throw down ladders. They can't throw down ropes. They can't do any of that. And they just said to the rabbits to accept their fate. But the other rabbit, he didn't give up. He just kept jumping and jumping and jumping. In the meantime, two days had passed by. And, they were, and the friends would come back and they kept checking on the rabbits. The other rabbit by now, unfortunately, he didn't live. He kept trying and he just went to a corner and he, and he died. That rabbit didn't make it. That poor rabbit didn't make it. But the other rabbit, he kept jumping. He was still jumping. He still had the energy. He was jumping. And the other rabbits were like, stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop jumping. Stop jumping. You're not going to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. But the rabbit, he jumped. He kept jumping, kept jumping. And eventually, he said, Bismillah. And he went, Oosh. and he jumped. And he made it. He actually survived. He jumped out of the hole. He did it. Can you believe it? He actually survived the hole. And the poor other rabbit, he didn't make it. And all the rabbits, all the rabbits, all the friends, they were, they were like, oh my God, I cannot believe this guy did it. How did he do this? How, we, you know, we told him not to do it, but he still did it. And eventually they went up to that rabbit and they said, well, how did you do it? We were saying, don't jump, don't jump. And they found out, actually, you know what they found out? They found out that rabbit was deaf. That rabbit was deaf. But the other rabbit, he wasn't. The other rabbit wasn't deaf. The other rabbit wasn't deaf. All he heard was, don't jump, don't jump. And he gave up. But the other rabbit, he was deaf. And he said, I thought you guys were saying, jump, jump. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. And that's why he kept jumping. You know, they're doing this. He, he, couldn't, he couldn't hear what they're saying. He just thought they're cheering them on. And that's why he kept jumping. And eventually he jumped. And he made it. What does this tell you guys? What does this tell you? This tells you that we should encourage one another. We should be very positive and optimistic 
know what optimistic means? It means we always see the good, th good side in things. We always want to experience the best outcome. That we're not always pessimistic, oh, you know, things are never going to be good. Oh, I'm never going to make it out of this hole. No, that, that, that's pessimism. That's the opposite. That's the opposite of being optimistic. We should be optimistic. And we should help others be optimistic. We, we should encourage each other. You see, when you tell your friends, or you tell your family, your brother, your sister, oh, you're rubbish, or you can't do this, you can't do that, what does that mean? That means you are hurting their feelings. And you're discouraging them. You're not helping them to be the best that they can be. But, you know, when you say to somebody, you can do it, you are the best, you can do it, I believe in you, then people feel like they can do it. And they're encouraged. And this is what we should be like as Muslims. As Muslims, we should encourage one another to be the best that we can be so that others can achieve what they dream of achieving. This is what we should do as an ummah, as brothers and sisters to one another. We should help each other. We should encourage each other. Because that one rabbit, he just thought, my friends have ditched me. They think I can't do it, and so he gave up. Whereas the other rabbit, he knew. He felt, even though he was deaf, right? He couldn't hear what they were saying, but he thought they were cheering him on. So that's why he just kept trying and trying and trying, and he did it. So remember, always encourage one another. Always have good thoughts, and always believe in one another. Because this will help us all achieve the best that we can ever achieve as, as human beings, as people, as Muslims. سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون السلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خص إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصلوا بالحق وتواصلوا بالصبر. السلام عليكم فمعمور عز. Until next week. السلام عليكم.